Well, it seems that the main purpose of dolmens was uh, offering a shelter to the ancestors. It, they seem like houses uh, of the ancestors, permanent houses of the ancestors. So I think that that's the primary objective, is to bury the chieftains and to provide them with uh, either a passage or a home to the other world. It's the first moment in which we see uh, very clear evidences of a belief in an afterlife. For example, the fact that the bodies are always deposited alongside with a number of pottery vessels with food inside. That's a very clear indicator that they were believing in an afterlife. So they seem very much houses for the ancestors. Now this is a very strange place. I've just turned up here, it's quite difficult to find. Uh, it's the church of San Brissos, um, just southwest of Evera. And this is actually a chapel made from a dolmen. It's a huge dolmen. You can just see that it's probably still in situ. And they've literally just built a roof on it, put a door on it, which is locked. I've just checked. And, um, and just Christianized this incredibly large dolmen into a, a small chapel. And it, it attracts thousands of tourists every year. Uh, there's offerings on the table. I've just left an offering myself um, to, the, well, to the megalithic pagan gods and to the Christian god here. So. Um, yeah, just my first impressions really, but what a strange place. Let's go and let's go and take a closer look. You can see that they painted it uh, sort of white and blue, which is uh, unusual for dolmens and for churches, in fact. Just look at the size of that. You can see the top lintel stone up there. This is stone here. Another one over that side, just going up there. It's obviously a rock which is just, was obviously a part of the original dolmen and it's just laying on the ground here. And you can see the little bits of brick work up there as well. And the fancy roof they've put on it. And uh, this is obviously the back part of the chapel. So there's not much megalithic activity around the back. Over there behind it in the distance is a beautiful lake. And Evera is uh, way over there in the distance behind those trees. So it's quite, uh, quite an unusual, quite a remarkable dolmen and it's quite a remarkable chapel as well. So uh, not unique. There are other ones in Portugal we're going to have a look at. But this is the first one I've come across um, and I'm just completely blown away by it to be honest with you. You know. And I'm speechless. <laughs> it's just uh, lightened, lightened up my day. It's like... I just don't understand why they would feel the need to paint it blue and white. Uh, unless that's just the colour um, of chapels in Portugal. Incredible. Just remarkable. Um, a remarkable thing. <laughs> Most remarkable thing I've seen today, that's for sure. And you can just see another great big megalithic block just sitting inside the undergrowth here, just outside the front of the chapel. And there's the rest of the chapel behind it. And there's obviously another stone over there in the distance. Several other megalithic blocks which obviously have just come loose or they weren't good enough for the chapel builders. It's quite a powerful tool, I, I, I would imagine. I mean, imagine I would imagine it was an acoustic chamber in the megalithic era. And I imagine they do hymns and things like that in there. And so it's become an acoustic chamber for the Christian era. Um, so I'm very intrigued by that, the way they've, the way people re-Christianize these sites. And it can actually be a good thing, you know, they've actually, it's still there, you can still see it. Uh, you still see the shape of it, they painted over it obviously and they built something on the back and put a roof on it and a door. But it's still here, it's still in the original position and I'm sure one day we can take all the paint off it and knock the other stuff away and we're going to find the remains of the original dolmen, um, more or less in situ, obviously with a couple of other rocks, one, one of them that I'm standing on here, another one just on the other side, 
Um, and so, yes, quite a, quite a feat of engineering um, originally, and obviously they've just used it again. It's like just reuse of an old site uh, in a very profound and interesting way, and uh, quite a funny way, in fact. It's, it's very interesting, the Christianization of the dolmens, because uh, there is a female deity associated back in the Neolithic with these monuments uh, that seems to connect both fertility and death. And it's interesting to see that when they were Christianized in the 1200s, 1300s, uh, most of them uh, were chapels, were, were turned into chapels dedicated to the Virgin Mary, which is kind of like the mother goddess of Christianity. So it's interesting to see how even though they were Christianized, there was, uh, even if, if they were not aware, there was a, a recycling of old values and significances that were originally present on those monuments. It's do you know the schist plagues? The, the, uh, one very important part of the collections that appear deposited within these monuments are what we call the schist plagues. They were small rectangular uh, plagues made out of a, a soft stone, which we call schist, that is very easy to polish. And usually those uh, plagues had either geometrical carvings that were pointing out uh, to the clan or family to which the dead man belonged, or many times they were representing a female figure uh, that we believe uh, was a mother goddess. Uh, usually uh, you have a triangle on the pubic area, you have uh, eyes that seem like um, uh, suns to, to radiant uh, eyes. And um, this is the, 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 the best example that we have of a possible uh, div, uh, uh, goddess uh, of the Neolithic. So. Standing outside Dolmen at Pavia, um, just north of Evora. This is another massive dolmen which has been transformed into a Christian chapel. So, like the re sanctification or just the reuse of previous ancient sacred sites. I find it quite remarkable um, how the, literally you can just have a look inside it and see that it's like a working chapel. And apparently, the whole town got built around this this was like the dolmen on the hilltop um, at the top of the kind of uh, plateau here so um, it's quite amazing really that, uh, that this still this is still here the whole town's formed around it and it's been uh, re-christianized so uh, a remarkable and beautiful place you just see the huge stones on top there and all the ones uh, going down the wall it's pretty magnificent it's behind a cage unfortunately it's quite a treat to come up here. I've just come to see this one site today. Uh, I really wanted to come and check this one out in particular, and I love the fact that just behind it is the Cafe Dolmen. I might try and see if they've got a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. 